Hi, in this video we're going to be dealing with series and parallel, which is part four in a series, and in this one we're going to be solving for current now. So here we have, uh, well, and I also, we, we want to solve the total resistance, the total current, the current in the first branch right here, and the current in the second branch. So let's go ahead and get started in solving this. Uh, so if you look at the circuit, you'll notice that you have two, br two uh, branches, one here and one here, and they're both in parallel. So we automatically know that when you have a voltage supply and it's in parallel with other elements or other branches that the voltage across the individual branches is the same. So in this branch you're going to have 12 volts and in this branch you're going to have 12 volts. So uh, in order to solve for the current for I1 all you need to do is you say uh, the current in branch 1 is equal to the voltage over branch 1 which is Vs divided by the total resistance of this branch, which it's R1 and R2, so you have R1 plus R2. So that's 12 volts over 10, 10 ohms for R1 plus 2 ohms for R2. So that's just 12 volts over 12 ohms, which is, it's going to give you 1 amp. And we do the same thing for the second one. So uh, for for the current in branch 2, you're going to get the total voltage in that branch, which is equal to Vs, divided by the total resistance, which is just R3. And that's going to be equal to 12 volts divided by 12 ohms, for a total of 1 amp. Uh, so now we've just solved for, for the current for I1 and I2, and we also know that the total current, this one right here, is going into both of these branches and it's getting split up. So since we already know the current in this one and the current in that one, all you have to do is add up both of these currents and it's going to give you the total current, which will be IT. So the total current, IT, is equal to I1 plus I2 for a total of 1 plus 1 amp. So you have 2 amps. That's the total current. Now. Uh, there's a couple ways we could solve for the total resistance. We could do the parallel method, which is the total resistance, RT, is equal to, um, well, this resistance, R3, and these two, R1 and R2. Uh, since they're in series together, I'm just going to call it, um, I don't know, R1 plus 2. So it's 1 over R1 plus R2 plus 1 over R3 and that's going to be equal to 1 over um, R1 plus R2 is equal to 12 ohms we already know that and R3 is equal to 12 ohms so it's just 1 over 12 so you're going to get 2 over 12 so now we get 1 over RT is equal to 2 over 12 if you rewrite this if you just flip them you're going to get RT is equal to 12 over 2, which is equal to 6 ohms. Uh, you could do it that way. Um, or you, you could also use uh, the formula, which it says the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. Well, we already know what the total current is, because we know IT. And we also know the total voltage, which is the voltage of the supply. So we could actually get VT or the, the total resistance just by using this formula. So we could just manipulate it and say the total resistance is equal to the voltage of the supply divided by the total current. So the total resi the total voltage was 12 volts, and the total current was uh, 2 amps. So you should get that the total resistance is equal to 6 ohms. So you get the same answer for both ways. You'll, you'll get the same answer, it's just... Um, if you already know the total voltage and the total resistance, then you could solve for the, I'm sorry, if you know the total current and you, t you know the total voltage, then you could solve for the total resistance in a circuit. So you could use that as well. So now we've solved for the total resistance, uh, right here, and we've solved for the total current, and we've solved for the current in branch 1 and the current in branch 2. So I think we've solved for everything, right? Yeah, RT, IT, I1, and I2. So 
There you go. That's how you solve um, this type of circuit. Uh, stay tuned for the second uh, or, or the next video actually, because that's gonna have. Uh, it's it's just gonna change it up a little bit. It's not gonna have the same amount of uh, resistance in each branch, so it'll, it'll be a little different. So, but not it won't be bad. So anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like it. And uh, if you want, you can subscribe and see when the next videos will come out. So thank you for watching.